Dear brothers in Islam, Ayah 64 of Surah An-Nisa means, and only when they wrong themselves, they come to you, meaning to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they ask Allah to forgive them, and the Messenger ask Allah to forgive them, Allah will forgive them and have mercy upon them. Visiting the grave of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a blessing and a recommended act by scholarly consensus. Al Hafiz Taqiyuddin al Subki and Al Qadi Iyad both relate the scholarly consensus that it is rewardable and recommended to visit the grave of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How it can't be when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the one who said, Man zara qabri wajabat lahu shafa'ati. Which means whoever visits my grave deserves my greatest intercession. Also Imam al-Bayhaqi narrated from the root of Malik al-Dar that at the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu, it was a year of drought. Muslims experienced a great hardship. Then one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called Bilal ibn al-Haris al-Muzani came to the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood before it and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, ask Allah Azza wa Jal to send rain for your nation as they are in ruin. Then he saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his dream. And the Prophet told him, go to Umar ibn al-Khattab and greet him. And tell him that they will have rain soon. And tell him to do his best to serve this nation. This companion went to Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu and told him. And you all know that Umar ibn al-Khattab was very firm. If anyone in his presence would do something against the religion, he wouldn't remain silent. When this companion came to Umar and told him about what he did, that he went to the grave of the Prophet and that he called him saying, Oh Muhammad, ask Allah Azza wa Jal to send the rain for your nation as they are in ruin. And about the dream that he saw afterwards and that the Prophet told him to go to Umar and tell him to do his best to serve the nation. Umar radiallahu anhu cried and said, Oh Allah, I have done my best. Then afterwards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the rain for them. The proof in this hadith that Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu did not say to the companion Bilal ibn al-Harith, you are mushrik because you went to the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He didn't say to him, this is unlawful or forbidden. In contrary to those people who are ignorant, a minor sect these days who prohibit people from visiting the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they say to them, this is shirk or this is haram wal'iyazu billahi ta'ala. This hadith was narrated by Imam al-Bayhaqi with an authentic chain of narrations. So visiting the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a blessing. For those who are living in Medina and for those who travel from their home countries with the mere intention to visit the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The scholars added that it is also recommended for one who is intending to visit the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to put the intention in his heart to pray in the mosque of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the reward is multiplied there. He would go into the rawda if he can. He prays to rak'ahs. He asks Allah to accept this visit from him. Then he heads to the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he stands before the grave of the Prophet 
40 cubits away from it, lowering his head, saying with a medium voice, Assalamu alayka ya Rasulallah. Then he would move one cubit to the right and greet Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Then one cubit to the right and greet Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. That's what the scholars mention. Then he would go back to his first position. He would face the Qibla and make dua for himself and others who ask him to make dua at that place for them. Brothers in Islam, visiting the grave of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a great blessing. Imam al-Tabarani narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever performs hajj then visits my grave after my death as if he has visited me during my lifetime. What a great blessing to go and visit the grave of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah to facilitate for us to perform hajj and umrah next year and visit the grave of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ameen.